At Headland Senior High School, this teacher demonstrates how she has designed and implemented effective strategies that are responsive to the local community and cultural setting of her Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students. So the group we worked with today um, was quite a mixed group. Uh, there were students in both year 8 and year 9. Some of the students were from the specialist arts programs. So they work um, across all four disciplines, dance, drama, music and art, in a holistic type program. And they basically get to do above and beyond what the regular dance, drama, music and art kids do. So in terms of performance skills, they generally achieve a lot higher outcomes. Some of the other students there were from my regular year 9 dance class, whom I've had for about 14 weeks. Um, in that time we've um, done a lot of choreography, they've um, created work uh, based on a poem, looked at creating their own warm-up tasks, so they've actually had to design their own warm-ups and teach the rest of the class and, you know, making sure that they, you know, incorporate, you know, strength and flexibility exercises and cardiovascular exercises, that with their own choreography they really um, worked well great teamwork skills, you know, they did think about things like levels and how they were going to sort of use the space. I think they were able to show off some of their stronger skills within that work as well. So in your group, so four to six people, you're going to create a short piece using all your own choreography. This is a chance to put all your own special moves into it. And you're going to base that around um, a specific event or um, activity or experience that you've had living in the Pilbara. Okay, when you're doing your choreography, you need to think of different choreographic devices using things like canon, repetition, you might have motif movement that you want to sort of repeat throughout the piece. You need to think about how you use the space, your patterns, um, and use of levels, which we just sort of talked about. How are your teaching strategies responsive to your local community and cultural setting? What strategies do you use to develop confidence in your students? <laughs> 